both of us to. How's that? Does that seem better? Because we can. Our personalities are part of the whole thing. <clears throat> Still can't get me too tall. I think we're good to go. Okay, so we've dissolved. Alright, buddy. See if you can cut it open and put the pack in there. Oh, go ahead and take it. Yeah. Alright. You'll just want to cut the top off the yeast. Try to do all three at once. All right, just cut it, cut it across like right here. No, 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 no. Okay, let me let me show you what I mean. Cut like this. Cut all the way across it. All right, got it. Excellent. I'll hold on to this so it doesn't fall in. Now. You just gotta make sure you stay directly over the bowl, right? Yeah, and then just. Oops, there's a bit of the jet. We lost just a little bit. You want to try to get it kind of spread out as much as possible, but it'll work. Now, this is a change for me. Don't touch it. All right. So while that's doing that, James, I'm gonna go ahead and get the pizza pans laid out. We use the same dough for pizza as we do the donuts. Seems weird, right? Because your pizza crust, you want it kind of nice and chewy. Your donuts, you want them nice and fluffy. So then why are we using this? Well, because for health reasons and for calorie reasons, our recipe is always the same. Flour and water with a little bit of yeast and just a little bit of sugar. So, as simple as it can possibly get. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna oil these pans up. So James, James, just so you know, I'm, I'm putting this online raw. Because I feel like Sometimes you want to watch oh, yeah, a video. Nice. Oh yeah. Our, our kitchen area is like kind of big, so you don't get the like smell. If we were in a small house, you could smell. I remember being a kid; I could smell it baking bread. But anyway, what I was trying to say, James, is sometimes you want to just. Pick Sometimes you just want to kick back and watch something that's kind of easy, you know? And interesting, where you can just kind of relax and watch it as a leisurely pace. Here, you can go ahead and put the scissors up there. You get what I'm saying, Bob Chub? Yep. So, when somebody feels like, hey, let's, let's watch something, you know, nice and relaxing and maybe learn something because... You know me, James. Yeah, I know you. I'm all about health. I mean, yeah, you definitely know. It starts with healthy soil. And then healthy, healthy water. Healthy. Healthy food. Healthy brain. Yep. Healthy climate. Yeah. And we try to lose weight around here, at least I do. You got just the opposite problem. But I'm kind of back on the horse now. I'm not, like in the last week, I haven't lost a ton of weight, but I really think it's partially because, like when you work really hard and your muscles are super sore, I think they draw in water. I, I don't exactly know, but yesterday I had a really nice calorie deficit. 
I mean, it hasn't shown up on the scale yet. I'm so. pretty sure we used to make cooking videos a while ago, right? Like we were. Uh, doing yeah, we used to make the really unhealthy ones. Yeah, like like how to make waffle uh, waffle cakes. There's also uh, the lo mein noodles one. I'm pretty sure you've actually have you even forgotten to make lo mein noodles? Well, here again, they're just one of those high calorie. You know, we haven't. We basically about three yeah, years ago calories. gave up pasta. You know. I mean, we literally gave up pasta. So, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera over here where people can see what I'm doing. You're gonna get kind of a bonus here because I'm gonna go ahead and make the pizzas and I'm cooking pizza for dinner. But the, the video is mostly gonna be the other part of the dough and we're gonna use it to make donut holes. So here's the thing, you want donuts nice and fluffy, and the way they get super fluffy donuts, just the same way they get super soft fluffy bread, is they put lots of fat into it. When you put butter into the dough, milk, cream, all that stuff, basically it saturates into the dough, and every one of those little air pockets it cooks and causes it to expand more and get more and more fluffy but I'm going to show you by the way you need really clean hands to do all this as I'm sure you know so what James what did you do you like daddy's pizza uh sort of I mean not as um not as good as regular pizza but okay, that's I guess it's all right. too hard my pizza is regular pizza. No. I mean, it's low calorie, but I feel that uh, for low calorie pizza, I think it's amazing pizza. I mean, I guess that's true. So, James, what? I suspect there's people watching here that never saw our goodbye video and the worms and all that. So maybe while we're just kind of making this, we can talk about the worm bin and what's what's going on with our compost and stuff. Yeah. We can also talk about how fun it is to have a foster family. Oh well, yeah, that is pretty. Yeah, well, that is pretty fun. And is there any other? What's that? Oh wow, now is it smell this, James? Now the yeast smell is overpowering. It is like <sighs> smells amazing. Hmm. Okay. So I used to stir this, yeah. right? I don't even stir it anymore. I let it sort of do its magic. Mm -hmm. And if you look under here, there's lots and lots of the, the yeast kind of falls down yeah. and it foams. So that's it for that. Boom. Alright, so. Let's put the sugar away, and now what, buddy? Oh, um, hmm, well, we, uh, probably, uh, do Here's something to make it. Ooh, um, yeah, well, well, that hint definitely tells a lot. You gotta put flour in it. Bingo. And then it could rise up. Bingo, and then bango, it'll, bongo. Yeah, and then it will rise up, and then it'll... So, I'm making a big batch here because I'm going to make other things with it and I want to be able to put some of it in the fridge. So, I'm using four cups of water, which means we need how many cups of flour, Bub Chub? How many cups of flour? Uh, Can you remember? Oh, um, probably one. So, two, two cups, two cups of flour for every cup of water. It's one of those type deals. Now, so I will, I will give you the cup to put in there. Okay, James, come around the other side here, and you're gonna pour these in as I give them to you. Okay. okay. You may have to put that down. Uh -uh. All right. Careful. Careful. Get it over the thing. Always right over the center of the bowl. Why don't you remove the little cardboard things? 
Yeah. Nice. Okay, go for it, buddy. All right. Uno. Give it back. Uno, dos, tres. Um. Oh, don't get don't get it like that, James. We don't want to lose count. So this that's one. This is two. Okay, two. Don't dally this one, okay? Alright, there's three. Three. Nice. Very nice. So we need how many total? Do you remember what I said a second ago? Eight. Yes! Oh my god, you remember. I didn't even remember, I just guessed. So that's four. Okay, well. You know, sometimes a guess is your subconscious remembering something. Wait, what was that one? Four. Four, okay. You know what I mean? Does that ever happen to you? Like you have an issue or a problem or something you're trying to remember uh, and then... Five. There you go. And then you can't, but then all suddenly the next day, boom, you know it. Because it's like your brain's been working on it in the background. I think that's a thing. Six. I mean, I think that's a real, like, thing. All right, two more. We're just gonna, I think, need to open this bag. Let's see here. There Seven. You go. Yep, yep, yep. And one more. One more exciting. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And All right. Is well, this eight? Yep. Okay. Now. What I like to do is, I like to actually add kind of extra water. Get that last bit, James. Just tap it. Yeah, there we go. I, add, I like to add extra water. So every... What if I just um, touch this a bit and then... I predict that you wouldn't love the taste, but go for it. It won't hurt a thing. You know, if they ever come out with a low-calorie flour, it's over. I mean, it is over. We'd have donuts all the time. We'd have, we'd have everything. I'd make cupcakes. Because you because now we have zero calorie sweeteners. We like Splenda the best. Okay, so it's very simple. You're going to stir. Now, you know, this is what's weird. People are so weird about making dough. My nephew was here the other day and he was like, I want to make, I want a dough maker. And I was like, what do you need a dough maker for? Making dough is simple. And he's like, well, not all of us have all day to cook. But seriously, you're going to see just how simple this is. And this is a huge ball of dough. But you don't need a dough maker. And you don't need to knead it for 20 minutes, you know? Well, anyway, back to the water thing. I use... Pretty much I use a little extra each cup. I kind of do a heaping and That is because you want the dough wetter than it needs to be It's very easy to add flour to make it more dry Adding water is hard It tends to just make the dough ball slimy and then when you're trying to knead it in it gets sort of chunky So if you've ever made dough, you know exactly what I'm talking about all right, James. What? I said uh, if you ever made dough, you know what I'm talking about. You don't want it. You don't want it slimy, right? You definitely do not want it slimy. Now, as you can see, it's starting to mix. You, you just want it mixed well. That's the thing. And I do like so, just to kind of mix the flour and water. Now, now I'll do like so. Now, all I want to do is basically, once it's able to be a relative solid piece, then you're good. I mean, we're definitely getting there. It's a little sticky, so I don't know if it's really going to get into a nice ball. Okay, I'll call that good. Okay, James. Now what? Do you remember? I don't know. Okay. Well, 
do you remember how we take the dough and we put pour it out on the counter with lots of flour? Well, um, yeah, we probably um do something to okay. make it go JoJo. So obviously we want a really clean counter, and I washed this thoroughly before we started. Now, James. Here, let me put this on you. Now's when we get our aprons going. Bud, Chub, come, come, come. All right, let me just get you tied up here. Key is just wrap it three times. Cool. Now I'll get mine. What's your say? Mm -hmm. Oh, world's greatest pizza maker. I forgot I had that one. I literally forgot that said that. What's this say? Um, something that is accurate. What's it say? Something that is accurate. Best dad ever. Am I reading that right? Yeah. And you think that's accurate? Yeah. You think I'm the best dad ever? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you something. What is the favorite thing that I do? Um, What's like your, what you like best about, uh, about it? Well, like, I like the fact that you um, aren't that strict. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's... Um, you know, a lot of kids would wish their parents were less strict, that's for sure. And what's the worst thing? Uh, well, I mean, sometimes you get annoyed at me, but, you know, that's up for your parents, so. Are you saying you cannot think of a worse thing? Yeah. Well, I can think of lots of worse things. Well, uh, yeah, I, I can't think of, well, I can't think of one, which... Yeah, Probably makes you a pretty good dad, right? I guess that's true, yeah. So, um, you guys that watch my videos, you know parenting education is definitely my thing. I love teaching parents how to be good parents. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's a job, I mean, That is my job. Yeah. Kind of. It's not always parenting. But it's usually some kind of life skill, right? Oh, yeah. So, well, as far as I know, that's what it is. Okay, James, let's see if you can remember. Let's see if you can remember my motto. What's my motto? Always be your best self, always seek positive change, always be a positive and help your life. I remember newer ones, like never miss the opportunity to learn something, ah, and stuff like that. That's a good one. Never miss the opportunity to learn something. You know why? Why? Do you know why? Because um, opportunities, they don't come off. All right, so I do this just so it won't start to dry. Wash the bowl immediately, and I mean immediately. That's the only way. It's the only way it's easy to clean. Other, otherwise, it is just a royal bitch to clean. And hopefully, your water's still kind of hot. So, and I mean this: just stop what you're doing and wash it. That's how. It, it's still kind of a pain, but. Yeah, I mean, if, if you wash it right when you do it, it's a lot like a lot of things. A blender, a food processor, whatever it is. If you'll, like, just turn around and wash it out, you're uh, you're going to be in much better shape. Otherwise, you're going to have to soak it. How I get all this dough always on the outside, I don't know, I guess. What do you think, Bug Chub? How do I always get all this dough on the outside of the bowl? <laughs> uh, probably the, um, the, when you dump the flour, it's, uh, when you dump things, oh, it might... Oh, yeah, because it's kind of on its side at that point. Okay. Okay, James. 
why don't we tell everyone about the foster kids that we have right now? Oh, um, yeah, well, uh, you can't really name them. Yeah, you can't really say their name or anything that really identifies them, but you can talk about them. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just call this one... Jer, I guess. Mm -hmm. Nah, 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 let's not. Let's you were not like thinking them. teenager in your head, weren't you? No. No, actually Yes. Not. Look at this. No, it's literally not. Anyway, uh, we have this one um, called, uh, what, no, no let's, let's not tell them anything. So, uh, yeah, where's this one, which is Spanish speaking? Can we say that? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah they speak Spanish. Uh, but when they got here, they didn't know any English, so... Yes, correct. Yeah, I mean, they've learned um, a, a bunch of English, though, so... Yes, she, she has done amazing. She's 17, right? Yeah. And she's done amazing learning English since, um, well, let's see, it's mid-April, right? Yeah. She came in October, oh, like really? early October, oh, I think. Uh, so, uh, how many I'm months is this? that? So basically, this stuff is just super soft right now. You can just put your fingers in it like this, and that's cool. So what you're going to do, essentially, is you're going to knead it, which is just a word that means fold it and fold it and fold it and fold it. So whatever you, whatever way that works for you. Yeah. Oh, and there's also this one named, um, nope, let's not say your name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, uh, I have a feeling we may need to beep out this later. <laughs> they have they uh, they have a they have a chinchilla. That's true, and we had never seen a chinchilla. Didn't even know what a chinchilla was. Or well, I'm pretty sure we saw a chinchilla in that commercial. Oh, um, what was it like? What what commercial was that? Uh, but wasn't that after the fact? No, I'm pretty sure we saw those commercials um, before. I mean, it wasn't commercials for chinchillas, but it was just, you know, it's that chinchilla. It's just okay. a random so, commercial, I don't know. What you do is, basically, you're just going to keep adding flour and kneading it in until the dough gets the right consistency. Which essentially means when you touch your hands into it, it doesn't feel sticky at all. I think we're getting there. We're getting pretty close here, James. So what I'd like to do is, is roll it this way and then roll it like so. I think that gives you the most folds for your money. Also, try to avoid getting flour on the floor. It's a real pain. I hate walking on flour. You can see the dough's kind of no longer sticking to itself. That's a good indication that you're getting close. It still feels a little moisture, so I'm going to... Okay. Hey, James? What? I'm thinking maybe we do something a little different this time. Okay? I'm thinking let's change it up a little. You know what I was thinking? Let's do let's cut out the donut holes first. Okay? Then they'll be over here rising the whole time while we're doing the uh, you know the pizza. See what I mean? Oh crap, I forgot Katie's leaving. Uh, what time are you leaving, hon? Oh Okay, probably best you just find something else. I, I don't think there's any way I'm going to have this done. Well, uh... well, actually, well, gosh damn it, I don't know. I guess I can crank out a pizza pretty quick. I don't think I have any tomato sauce made. Everything from scratch. That's the main thing. Although I guess we do use canned crushed tomatoes, but as long as you buy 
the tomatoes, you're cool. When you buy some kind of sauce, pre-made like ragu or anything, that stuff has a ton of unnecessary calories. Okay, you can see, I wish there was just a little more flour on this. Every once in a while you'll get something to show up like that. I wish I had just a little more flour in it, but it's feeling stiff and it's starting to tear, so now we're ready. This goes a lot faster when you're not dealing with the quadruple batch. Alright, so now I'll show you how to make it easy on yourself. Flatten it out. Roll it this way. Flatten it again. Okay, James. Will you will you uh, will you press out the donut holes? Oh, I'm not sure why not. Okay. We'll just uh, use this. Yeah, it's a little jag. It's so just hold on. I'm not I'm not ready for that yet. But if you'll come over here, okay, and come on over to that side. All right. And actually, no, they can't really see. Tell you what, let's let's do this. Let me clear this area. So let's clear all this. I don't know why it is that always always crap has to accumulate on the island. You know what? You know, I like to always put things away, not just move them so that we have to... Okay. Right now, I'm, get, I'm getting you set up over here. This stuff all goes in this drawer. So come around back to where you were. Yeah, come right around here. Alright, now. It's very simple. Now, James, all right, so one batch of these is going to equal about a fourth of this thing. So, we'll just get our dough cutter and this bad boy, and I think the easiest thing to do, James, is let's just miss the, the cutting board with a little of this non-stick spray. That'll keep them from sticking. Okay. So, all we're going to do... This would probably be like the worst place I've ever lived. Can you imagine like just like a hole and then just put it in here? It's pretty good. Like, yeah, just saw nothing. Hmm. That is an interesting thought. Alright, so... We're going to press it out, like so, and what I'm looking for is probably half inch thick, as uniform as you can. I like to make a ton of these, but then everybody else will eat like four each. And that'll leave me 20. Low calorie doesn't do you any good if you binge and eat 50 of them. Okay, what do you think, James? Is that about right on the thickness? Would you say? Maybe there's just a tiny bit. Okay, now bug tread. The secret is, yeah, that's good. The secret is, don't get in a hurry. If you try to, if you're in a hurry, then what will happen is uh, you'll want to press too hard and it'll like hurt your hand. So just nice and easy, okay? okay? Just make sure you get a full thing. Like don't, don't get it. And then you want to put them as close together as you can without like overlapping them. So go ahead and just push down and twist. You don't have to do it that hard. Yeah. Because I don't want you to hurt. Give it a little twist and, uh, and kind of. 
kind of give it one of these so that you know it's like broken. All right, now see if you can just go like. Oh, it looks so weird. It looks there you go. Yeah. Sometimes you can just kind of pop them out of there. Sometimes you reach in with your finger. And again, you want to, you want to, uh, I don't know. What we're looking to do is, you got it. You got it. It's done. You can pull it with your finger. Just pop it up, pop it up there. Okay. Now, see if you can follow me on this. Okay. You want, we want to get as many as we possibly can. So you want to put them real close, but not. See, see what I'm saying? Yeah. You want a complete hole. You, know, you want a complete circle, but you want to give it a, oh, 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 closer, closer. There you go. Now you're talking. Bingo. And you know what we do? Pardon me, sir. So I am going to put glaze on these. I'm going to put powdered sugar glaze on these, which normally adds a ton of calories because it actually takes like a whole cup of powdered sugar to make like, I'd say a fourth of a cup of glaze. So it is just potent. But I have figured out the secret. What? What's the secret? The, well, what's secret, the secret? Well, the secret will be revealed in time. When we go to make them, they will learn the secret of a very low calorie glazed yeast donut hole, which is, again, sort of the ultimate, kind of the ultimate holy grail. Now, don't forget, don't, you, you, you want them close to each other, but you also want them close to the edge. So you can do, I think right here, you could actually do a row of them if you squeeze them in there good. James, those are some of the most perfect donut holes I've seen. Have you done this many times? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so remember when I said make it easy on yourself? They want you to go into balls, go into balls, right? Well, here's the thing. The reason you want a nice ball is so that it'll press out nice and round. But if you kind of start it out nice and flat, cut it. We're looking for between four and five ounces. Okay, that's 5.1. That's good. Get yourself a little thing here. Now, see, it's already flat, so you're not having to, like, do a lot of flattening. That one's kind of odd long, so, so here's what you do. This is, you got just a nice flat, like, mini pancake. Just fold up all the edges, and you get a pretty good doggone dough ball. Wow, James, you're really cooking with sterno over there. You're getting her done. Okay, and then, just very gently press down. I hope I'm not running, I hope I'm not gonna run out of flour here because I already put the flour away. But all right, six and a half. So you just, and they don't have to be perfect for sure. So I am going to make eight of these dough balls because that's how many of the pans I have. And then I will use the rest to put in Tupperware and use later. Right, Bub Chub? Perfect. So, let's just break it down. A four to four and a half ounce dough is 200 calories. So, and I'll do this. I'll take these dough and I'll do like a pan fried scone, which is something that not most people call scones, but essentially just a nice, it's kind of like a really thick pita in the pan, right? And I might put honey on it, make a really nice dessert. You know what would be really awesome, James? If you did that and then rolled it into a, rolled a fried banana into it. You know what I mean? If you take a banana and fry it with some like just some low calorie margarine, you're talking like a hundred calories. Uh, but that would be an extremely yummy dessert. By the way, James, I don't think we've ever told them about your certain eating uh, preference. I mean, I don't. I mean, yeah, I, I um, I love milkshakes. I guess. Uh-huh. 
And what don't you eat? Man. One primary thing that you don't eat. Man. I don't really eat candy that much, but I'm on. But like, uh, I do kind of want some candy every once in a while. Okay. How about meat? Uh, well, I'm vegetarian, so. Okay, that's where I was going. I don't know if we ever really like disclosed that to everybody. Do you? I don't think everybody knew you were a vegetarian. Oh really? That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay, Bub Chub. You know what we didn't do today that would have been really nice? Go to the state park and have a cookout. It was so incredibly nice today, like 75 and overcast, just beautiful. Oh, that's okay. That's absolutely okay. Let's see, six, and I'm gonna go seven. I don't really like to do this, but I'm gonna try to like wrap these all together. Hopefully it'll stay. Okay. I think it's probably time I can go ahead and preheat the oven. I'm gonna make some pizzas here. And, uh, well, shit. Hey, babe, I can probably send you with a pizza to eat in the car. The truth is I've been lazy the last couple of days and I haven't made any pizza. I like to keep okay. plenty of pizza on hand. Okay, uh, I think I'm almost done. Uh, there's uh, a bunch of holes in this, but I think I can, like, uh, fit some more. Cool. Now, what we could do is we could take this and we could ball it back up and go again, but... We have gotten to where we make something that we like to call, uh, what antlers. do we call it? Yeah, ant antlers. No, it's by the name. It does not actually have antlers. It just looks like antlers. Yeah, it kind of looks like antlers. And in fact, what's weird is when we cook it, it'll be like, kind of like a funnel cake. I mean, I it guess. It really will be like a funnel cake. Yeah, I guess it will. Okay, too. so. Let's go ahead, we want to go ahead and cook the antlers because we don't really want them to be really puffy. You know, those are kind of like, actually, you know what, Bub Chub? Yeah, I mean, I... If we go, hang on just a second. I think we can get one right here. I mean, a name I came up with was Hammer, just because, you know, there is like um, duplicate names and stuff, so I think maybe... Just to be lazy and What's hammer? What what is that? Just a, like the tool, but also um it was uh, a name I came up with for this, but no, you just hmm. cut antlers. Cool. Hey Bub Chub. What? Look at how many donut holes you made. <laughs> yeah. You made enough for like everybody to have some. To have like ten of them. How many how many people do we have in this house right now? Uh hold on, so there's Speaker, um, this will call the other one France, to be less specific. <laughs> I like that. That's that's good. That's uh, actually a nice nickname for someone. Uh, Dad, we got uh, me, Charlie, um, my mom. Okay, I have an idea, I think James. That's it. Six. Bob Chuck? I have an idea. I don't. You, uh, we haven't tried this before, but I think if we cover it, I think if we cover it with some tin foil, then it'll like rise better. By the way, throw away the crappy thing with the blade. It's a piece of crap. Okay. So same thing. Let's just hit this with a little bit of cooking spray. What's the crappy thing with the blade? This? No, I'm saying like the aluminum foil comes with that like cardboard box and it has like the little blade on the side, you know? But as you saw, uh, tear tearing aluminum foil is fucking easy. Okay, so we'll just put that on there and I think that'll actually uh, help it rise better. So, 
Let's go ahead and get the air fryer out. Now, I really don't think you have to do this with an air fryer. Do you, James? Mm, I, I mean, it's it's nice. It, it, it may be. I mean, this is if you're dieting, this is a great thing to have because you can make you can make low calorie anything practically. You can I mean, make low not, calorie French fries. Yeah, I'm not sure if you need the air fryer. Maybe. I mean, we don't really. I don't think we've tried it without an air fryer, so I'm not sure if it was one or not. I found this thing at the Goodwill. And it oh, works yeah. pretty good. Stuff like this you find at the Goodwill because you'll you'll buy kitchen gadgets and, uh, and you know I barely use them and end up giving them to Goodwill and they'll be like almost brand new. Okay, so I like to turn the air fryer on anyway, get it you know get it heating up and. Let's see, what would be a good place to... I don't have enough kitchen. I really don't. I wish I had a bigger kitchen and a bigger island. And But, on the other hand, this is far more than what we had at the old house, huh, James? Do you remember the old house? Yeah. Yeah, I remember the old house. We moved here in, like, 2018. Yes. What month? Do you remember that? Maybe October? Uh, yes. Mommy says yes. So, okay. We might just tell everyone about your genius, buddy. Uh, about you being a genius. I mean, I mean, well, I, mean I don't think I know who is a genius. I mean, I'm a student toilet and no But, I, I mean, I guess... I feel a bit I guess. Well, let's put it this way, James. What? If you're interested in something, there is just no... I mean, well, let's just give this one fact. And this is absolutely true. This is not an exaggeration at all. When you were five, you taught yourself how to read. I, 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 was I really five, though? Yeah, and you know why? I swear I was like five. No, because you know how you did it? My glasses. Well, that's true. That's a whole other story. You can tell them the story. I always tell the story about the glasses. The point is, playing computer. Amazing. Playing computer games and being like, what's this word? What's that word? And, and yeah, like uh, 600,000 points and da 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 da. So you learn big numbers. Just crazy. Super good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and. As soon as the air fryer is hot, which, what's wrong? Oh no, I forgot to put the little lever thing down. Okay. So as soon as the air fryer is hot, I'm going to put in these antlers. So, what we need, Jamius, Jamius, Bamius, Slamius, Bubba Chubba. We got this country crop light. And it works pretty well. Um, I mean... There are so many things that if you can just get used to a slightly different taste or texture, um, you can save so many calories. Um, but I used to be, um, I used to be that way, like, ugh, diet pop is so disgusting and there's no way, I cannot eat light ranch, it's just really sick and got a weird flavor. I mean, I literally was eating pretty much the most unhealthiest version of everything that I could. But it was fun, and it tasted good. Like I said, if you want an idea on all that kind of stuff, just go back in our history a little ways. I will say this. I still say I make the best root beer, root beer float, bar none, period, end of story. Oh yeah, we, um, we made the video on that, didn't, didn't we, like a couple years ago, remember? Yeah, remember that? Like, yep, uh, yep, yep. Window. Exactly, window. Okay, James. Let's do this, okay? Um, let's get the other cutting board. And where's the plastic one? Here we go. I gotta put this stuff away. I'm just quickly putting this in this way. 
Okay, grab that white cutting board. Can you make a remastered version of that we can pull up video? That might be possible. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you know, if you were to just use diet root beer and low calorie vanilla, that would make it so much better for you. I mean, I guess that's true. You know, one of the things that's been a godsend has been the zeros, the Coke Zero and all that. I mean, I guess that's... I'm running out of places to put stuff. Okay, so here's what I think we should do, buddy. Let's, let's see if we can transplant this to here. And I was thinking about making it in thirds anyway. So, what do you think? Cut it into thirds? And then we'd be able to move it pretty good? Uh, I guess so. Okay, you want to cut it? I, so cut it like, yeah, yeah, good. No, 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 well, you can't just, yeah, you don't have to slant it like that. Okay. Yeah, so okay. then this would be a third. So then right, probably right like in here. Nice and easy. Just press it. Don't, like maybe right, like maybe right there. Good. And do it just like with the dough, just like with the dough balls, you know, just kind of, okay. No, 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 we're good, we're good. We got three pieces. All right, so let's move this over. Now, you're going to have the job, which I know you love. Which is? Brushing the butter on. I don't really think I love it, but. It's a fun job though, I think. Let's find, here we go. Now remember, not too much, not too little. Not I'm going to demonstrate for the benefit of the camera. All right, so very simple. You know what? I'm actually I'm doing this wrong. I, I really am doing this wrong. You know what we need? What? We need that plate, that deep plate, because what you want to do is you don't want to uh, you don't want to have to you don't want to have to butter both sides, right? Okay, James. Let's see, can you, do you think you can scoop it and put it in here without, oh here, I got an idea. Just see if you can slide it off of there. Just see if you can slide it off real, like so it doesn't mash up. There you go, yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow, nicely done. You got that very precise, precise hands. Okay, everybody, James, the great James. The great James. Let's sing that one song, James, that we, uh, wait, Use the wait, famous I melody. Seen nothing like the mighty James. Yeah. You've not seen nothing like the mighty James. Come on now. Come on, Come on in. You've Can not you seen see nothing like, like the mighty James. If you haven't heard that song, it's by Manford Mann. It's, it's like really famous, but like kind of old, kind of old school. Okay, James. So just come in, get a nice dollop and just hit it like that and then back in so don't do too much don't you know don't let it get dry and then just bingo yeah yeah in fact i like to just kind of smush like that and then right back into it and just get a nice bit there you go there you go there's no exact science don't don't skip around like that though because you want to make sure you know where you're at so you come over here and hit this anyway by the time you do all that there's usually enough on the plate where we can you know all right so the, this thing has this little tray and I think I'll just bring it over here so you can see you have the benefit of seeing all right now uh, Looking good, buddy. Any dry areas? Mm, I don't see any. Okay, now. You can uh, take over if you see any. No, I think it's good. Let's okay. just see if we can scooch it around. The dough balls are a little bit easier, right? Because they roll really well. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, as, as uh, carefully so, uh, as I can. What's the point of the dough balls? What's the point of the dough balls? Oh, like uh, these. Oh, that's for the pizza crust. Oh. I'm going to make, that's for dinner. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to use this big pancake or whatever the heck this thing is. See if I can, yeah. 
they start getting fluffy and then they're not they're not the little antlers but still they're kind of cool they're definitely kind of cool hey Bubcha, tell them about the experience we had today at that uh mocha nut place or whatever it was called oh yeah um so we went to some uh, mocha nut place because we thought there would be coconut because the spanish speaking person we were talking about loved coconuts uh because you know the name oh, 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 oh. coconut Okay. And uh, there wasn't any uh, coconut, and there was like three total dollars for uh, like a dozen, which uh, I guess is pretty good, but still, it's um, it uh, it didn't really. What we we uh, we're thinking I can't like how many minutes I usually go. Thinking like uh, oh yeah. Um, I think I do these I, at four minutes. It, like we were thinking that we could like uh, spend the money on something else. That eating those um donut things that they have. Yes, exactly. So yeah, you know, and, and the thing is, what I was telling you, James, the guy didn't want to. He's like, you got to go order at the kiosk, and because I went up and I just said, let me just get an assorted dozen, right? Because yeah. I ain't got to go to the kiosk. Mm -hmm. Well, I went to the kiosk saw all the prices laid out in front of me and realized that it wasn't worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it would break the bank on my diet. Plus, I mean, they didn't even have coconut. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, they said the bread, bread flavors changed every week, so I'm thinking... That's like, true. He did kind of act like they have coconut sometimes. Yeah. But uh, you know what, you know what, honestly, I want to do, James? I want to really... Uh, get a really good recipe and learn how to make uh, coconut macaroons, which I think you don't even need to use the word coconut. I think they're all coconut. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I mean, there's a, yeah, um, I mean, no, hey, hey, to, to the, um, cashier, by the way, he was very nice, the um, cashier, like the, um, the guy was pretty nice. Yeah, he was all right, wasn't he? Yeah, he was nice. Well, by the way, I did forget something. You want to really hit the you really want to hit the grill with... I'm going to go get the chapstick on. Okay. You know, see nothing like the mighty James. do this super often so each time I have to sort of reset my mode of operation. I want to let them rise as much as they possibly can. Hey James, yeah. you want to you want to do the rolling pin? Bub snatch. You want to do the rolling pin? The, the rolling pin? Yeah, you know you want to press out to do it. Oh yeah. Well, that stuff's all cooking. I figure might as well do something useful. <laughs> all right, flour is your friend. Now they're all nice and soft and like partially risen, so. They're gonna press out real nice. Yeah, so um of course like that's for the pizza or mm -hmm. like yeah. So We're I'm gonna demonstrate right for now, the but... camera one time. So essentially you wanna just flatten them with your hand. Nice and flat, nice and round is the secret. And then go one direction. Okay? If it does that, just flip it. Go one direction until you get the width oval that you want. You watching, buddy? What? one direction and then one go direction. this way and then you're just going to press it out till it's nice and round and it'll give you a good circle okay according to that this should be cooked uh-oh okay let's do that 
do this. Let's do this. Let's just put this over here. Okay. Nano. We will empty this onto the cutting board. are a lot like cookies, aren't they, James? Like, you almost have to undercook them because they'll sort of continue cooking while they're sitting there. I don't know if you can see me over, see this over here, but I'm going to use a... Come on. Come on. You're right. I'm trying to open the... This closed the door. You know something, James? I don't know why we did we kept them intact because okay. it's not like you're gonna eat a whole one. Okay, you're not. 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 you are not 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 Dome deals, which this is a great way to do stuff. And boom, put it over the top of it. I don't know if you can see over here, but you want just a very slight golden brown. Okay, I'll put the scale away. Now, James, why don't I press them out and then you pr then you press them out into the pan. Okay? So what you're gonna do is come around. And grab one of the pans. They're already pre-oiled and ready to go. Wait, this one. These ones are very dirty, though. Well, they're seasoned. They're not actually dirty. That's just permanent. So you're going to go right here, and I'm going to put, I'll put the dough right here when I'm finished with it, so then you'll just lift it and center it real nice in the pan. Okay. Give it a try. It's actually super easy. Just come then, right here. Uh, kind of like tip sure. Leaves. Just pick this up, James. Just pick it up and place it into the pan. Okay. All right. That's it. Put it back where you got it and bring another one over. Bring this one? No, 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 no. This one's good. So set this back where you got it. Right where, right where you got it a second ago. It was right over there by the coffee pot. All right, then bring the next one. James, I wish you wouldn't hold them that way because this is very fragile. Now, don't make it harder than it is, okay? Just pick it up like so. Watch out. And just put it in there. Super simple, okay? You don't have to like worry about holding it in the middle or anything. You know, James, I hate to say this, but we're sort of like almost done. Oh. I mean, we're going to cook out, we're going to cook everything, but you know, that part's kind of, in a way, kind of the easy part. Why do you say you hate to say this? Why do I say I hate to say this? Oh, just not, not really. I don't actually, it's an expression. It just kind of means like, forgive me for saying this, Well, but I mean, I mean, you I have don't... really bad breath. I mean, I so. This is another thing, my... you know. Pressing out the dough balls is actually quite easy. And here's what's really nice. We use a nine inch pie pan, which definitely use a glass pan. It just works better. It cooks a lot more evenly. Don't yeah, don't so try to use some kind of tin. Yeah, I mean I think a bit of the um, top was there you go, buddy. oil on it, but this one. Oh. So you are using oil on the pizzas, but only putting in about a teaspoon. Maybe a little more. What's the timer? The timer 
burner on the stove is set for those donuts. Here, go ahead. Or if you want, you can kind of flip it. That makes it easier for you. Uh oh, James, do you, doing chef stuff. Hey, Butcha, you want to come over here and brush this one? James? What? You want to come over here and brush this bad boy? You got a no go? You're getting tired, aren't you? Okay, well, as soon as I. Uh... As soon as I finish pressing out the pizzas, we'll be cooking pizzas, we'll be cooking dough. So what do you say we just end the video and then we'll come back after a nice break okay. and we'll make a part two All right. and what? I'll show them how to, part two? yeah, why not? Cause we want to show them the finished product, what? but why not just do it in this video and just pause it. No, just, just end the video and then uh, record it again and then just put both of them in the video. Oh. It's easy. Hmm. I like that idea, but would someone watch like a three hour video? Well, I mean, Good it Lord, is. Lord, three hours cooking in the kitchen, that's a lot, I guess. I mean, yeah, it has been one hour, but hopefully. Oh my God, you know what, James? What? I have never shown him how to make Greek food. Greek food? Yeah, pita bread a, a, on pizza. a, uh, you know, a gyro. Hero, gyro, gyro, whatever. I think it's gyro. Anyway. Gyro? Like, like the European dollar? Yeah, I mean, if you actually asked a Greek person, which I did one time, you know what they said? What? Oh, we pretty much respond to everything. Gyro, 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 just like what I was just saying. Okay. All right. It's pretty good on the bottom. Okay, this one's ready to cook. So, um, yeah, why don't you just stop the video and you can go ahead and take a nice long break and we'll regroup uh, and show everybody how to actually make the pizzas. Yeah. Look, look, okay. Okay, go ahead and hit stop, buddy. I, I can't. And okay. One so someday we're gonna have to. We'll tell everybody about your obsessive hand washing I'm and general That's disdain true. for anything dirty. God damn it! I don't mind that. Which he definitely does not get from me because I like playing in dirt and playing in compost. Okay, all right, time out. Okay. Now, 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 now. So a long time ago, I realized that I could make a whole batch like this, cover them with a plate, put them in the fridge, and anytime I wanted to, or anybody else, I could go there, pull out a dough, sauce it, cheese it, and make pizza. Well, then I decided, hey, what if I took it a step further? What if I actually just pre-made the pizzas? So, I tried it. I thought, eh, will it be soggy? I tried it. It actually works great. Does not really hardly change anything. 
So, I think you probably know where I'm going with this, but I'm going to go ahead and make cheese pizzas all around. So, you want to put in salt to taste. The thing about seasoning, I don't use recipes. The reason is, is because that way it's a little different every time, you know? Sometimes it might be more like strong garlic, other times a little spicier, other times a little more sweet. So I have a general idea because of having done this so many times, how much of each I'm gonna put in. And I need a couple, ta couple tasting spoons. Let's try it. And I like to make, I like to do everything in Tupperware because that way you're going right in the fridge. And if you watch some of my pizza videos, you'll notice that the, the real secret to home cooking is to make it easy. So I, as soon as we get back from the store with onions and green peppers and sausage, all that stuff, I, uh, I immediately Rule, but you put just a touch more garlic and a touch more pepper. And sometimes, if I'm feeling a little frisky, I might put onion powder. I love using fresh herbs, I've got this herb garden behind me. The best thing I can do is, you know, if I make a sauce. like a lasagna, whatever it may be. I can put all these herbs into the food processor when I do everything, and it'll chop them up really fine. So that way I don't have to mess with trying to separate the bay leaves from the stems, which they don't do very well. You know, I can just cut three inches off my herb garden. And, or if I'm sauteing vegetables, You can tell almost by the color once it starts to that is good. I, that is literally causing my mouth to water. All right, so depending on kind of how thick it is, two generous scoops with a big spoon and just Run it around like so. I just work it from the middle out and just push it like so. Now, I have done this a long time, and so this may be a lot more awkward for a beginner, and that's uh, no problem. Take your time. If you slop it off onto the edge, that's fine. These are going to be edge to edge pizzas. If you like, a crust, fine, just make, leave yourself a crust, you know. Just don't go all the way to the edge. Leave yourself an inch around and it'll come out with a nice crust. Or you can take this exact dough and you can cook it, stretch it out, cook it on a, uh, on a cookie, sh or on a, uh, a, a cooling rack. Cooling racks are fantastic tools to have because you can use them to cook a pizza you because like thin crust you kind of have to just do it and you know what Jamius I have not shown anyone how to make a thin crust pizza well okay so it's like a lot of things it is a close approximation to a thin crust, but the calories are half of even what these are, which is crazy. If you ate nothing but those thin crust pizzas all day, like if you ate, especially if you were doing just cheese pizza, I swear to God, you could eat four of them a day and the weight would fall off. The weight would absolutely fall off. Speaking of which, 
I've been really doing well this week with my with my calorie counting. And you can tell what the next step is. Cheese. Don't skimp on the cheese, but do get the do get the skim skim milk or par partially skim milk because uh, it has this. This is a kind of a little known secret. Mozzarella cheese has about half the calories in it as say cheddar. Most most cheeses have 80 to 100 calories per ounce. That's a lot. That's right up there with like sausage, like pork sausage. Um, this stuff here, uh, 40 calories an ounce. So I'm going to put approximately four to six ounces. So in other words, somewhere between 160 and 240 calories. It depends on how much you like cheese. So if you really low, you know, if you make it cheesy, really cheesy, you know, instead of uh, 450 calories, you might be 550 calories. But still, I'm talking for the whole pizza, 500 calories. Here again, you could eat two of these, one for lunch, one for dinner, and the weight would fall off. And that's what I did. Now you look at me and you probably think, who in the hell is this guy to, to, to you know, uh, teach low calorie? Well, what happened is I lost about 80 pounds. And my wife lost like about 80 pounds. And we, we did this kind of after we got sober. Because I was an addict for 20 some odd years. And I mostly just stayed really stoned all the time from weed. So that was my life for a long time. And so I had, I did everything about as unhealthy as you could do it. I smoked a lot of cigarettes. I smoked a lot of pot. I ate terrible. So I was just really a fat slob and, uh, unhealthy and I was I was on my way to death at 50 probably May, maybe sooner so once I got sober one step at a time you know one positive change at a time just always seek positive change always try to move in that right direction so at the moment at the time I was about 335 pounds and Katie and I Went on a low calorie diet, full of home cooking, and uh, oh. So one easy way to figure out the cheese calories, or this goes for just about anything, is total up the whole, like look at the entire bag that was used, and uh, then just divide. So. So I used two full bags, which is 24 ounces each, so that's what, a pound and a half. So three pounds, and you can do the math, but I've done it many times, and it averages out to, like I said, 400, I mean, uh, four ounces, and you're probably uh, 160 calories. Six ounces. Again, you're more like 240, so you get a good idea. I have found that when I first started dieting, I, I, I skimped, I, I used, you know, I made like a turkey wraps and, you know, and I didn't really like the stuff very much and I worked and worked and worked until I found some stuff and I'm like, look, what I like is pizza, burgers, and Mexican food. That's primarily what I like and an occasional dessert. Well... I figured out how to make that stuff 
low calorie. If you can show me a pizza better than these for lower calories, or the same as these but low calories, I don't know what, I have no idea how you're able to achieve that other than just using less of the ingredients. But here's the thing. Takis. I have found that don't worry so much about skimping, you know, every calorie, calculating every calorie. Just kind of eat less. You know, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to eat some ice cream later. In fact, one of these days I'm going to teach you about my ice cream waffle sundae. Uh, and you will die at how amazing it is and at about 250 calories, I think. Okay, so. All right, so hopefully these things are getting fat. Mm, they're definitely fatter. And I kick myself because while I'm cooking them, the ones at the back of the line tend to be really a lot fluffier and I'm like oh why didn't I just wait that extra 10 minutes so I'm trying to be really patient James? Oh, never mind. I know exactly where my phone is. <laughs> okay. Hey, Bug Chad? James? Do me a favor. Can you text Can you text the two girls upstairs? Yeah. Yeah. Ask them if they want pizza, and if so, what kind? So I've got some time here before the thing preheats. So here again, cut the ingredients up and have them in Tupperware like this. So toppings are really easy. There's always low calorie alternatives. This is turkey pepperoni. It's just about as good as regular pepperoni. In fact, you'll start to feel like regular stuff like pepperoni is just really like fat and just kind of gross. Just uh, too oily and this has a slightly more drier texture but the flavor's good but honestly here again it's good enough i mean when you're so heavy that you know you're risking death you make some compromises so anyway these things are 70 calories for 17 slices that is insane for pepperoni. So I put like about half of that on there. So I'm like 35 calories for the pepperoni. That's literally nuts. This is Johnsonville turkey sausage. And I have done a lot of sausage. In fact, um, in fact, I have made some amazing ground sausage from chicken sausage that you can buy at the grocery store they kind of you know resemble like the brats that you get and uh you good boy murphy i'll use one and a half here so that murphy will go a nice treat if you have dogs spoil the shit out of them you know especially if they come from a shelter you know just spoil the hell out of them I hate this, uh, you know what I hate? 
I hate that farmer's dog thing, where you're giving them like basically human grade food. First of all, it's stupid expensive, and you can you could do that yourself. But the one thing that they do is they're just not very big servings. So your dog eats it quickly, probably feels pretty deprived, and and yeah, sure he's gonna lose weight. You know. He's only been given a half a cup of food every day, day or whatever. Okay, so I kind of made mine a supreme. Pepperoni, sausage, mushroom, and sliced red onion. Just take a look at that. That isn't even cooked yet. That is just a beautiful pizza. So practice, practice, practice. That's what you gotta do. All right. Did you, did you text him, buddy? Yeah, I did. Any response yet? As soon as... Seems like it's a little steamy, but... Okay, well, for now we won't worry about it, but that's the beautiful thing about these. You can put them off to the side and pull them out on a moment's notice. And you, and you know what's crazy? When they're pre-made in there and, and they're just cheese, I'm a lot more likely to just throw them in the oven as is and just have a cheese pizza, which of course is good. It's lower calorie. And I have discovered an amazing Thousand Island dressing that I want to share with you. And it's, boy, it is good. It is special. It is just absolutely special. And I love it as a dipping sauce for pizza. Also, if you put just a little ginger and rice vinegar in there, it makes a half-decent substitute for the uh, Japanese dressing that you that everybody knows and loves. Which, if you've ever tried the Japanese dressing, it's a lot harder than it looks for some reason. And you're, you do tasting. By the time you're done tasting it, you're really sick of it. That's crazy, right? Okay, what am I doing? Oh, okay. I'm putting these away. Okay, so I want to make sure that I take a couple bags of, of uh, mozzarella out of the freezer. Hey James, you know something dude? Bud the more I The more I do these, the more I realize, oh crap, I never showed him how to make the, you know, the beautiful breakfast sandwiches or the, the breakfast burritos. Or lots of, I'm going to have to make sure I put out some more of these videos. But uh, I hope you guys are at least entertained because the biggest thing about the video, and I'm sure any creator will tell you this, is the editing. You know, and you'll end up, you'll have four or five videos kind of ready to be edited. Um, and it just takes so much out of you. And... The truth is, young people like the boom, 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 you know, remove every, you know, tenth of a second between words and every pause. And I can't even listen to that shit. I don't, that hurts my head, I swear to God. Murphy, there you go, buddy. I, I don't, I can't, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, you watch a lot of these young videos. Now, I like shorts. I like shorts as much as the next person. There's always a lot of really funny pet stuff, people demonstrating tools, people demonstrating how to paint, just everything. I've made some shorts, uh, basically a very, very, very condensed version of these bad boys. Okay, waiting for the oven to heat, waiting for these to rise, which here again, I mean, they're already a lot fluffier than... They're already getting fluffy. Oh man, they are, they are delicate. So you don't want to sort of disturb them, if you will. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video until these are ready to cook, or maybe till the pizza's coming out of the oven. All right, see you then.
Okay, but uh, we're resuming. We are resuming. We are the champions. We are the champions. Switcheroo here. Okay, go ahead and get two of the Tupperwares. The what? Tupperware. Okay, but Tupperware is everywhere. We're recording already? Yep. We're recording. <laughs> We're getting set up here. <laughs> Sorry. But we'll get them a real, we'll give them a real window into the family. And it's like I always advise, you know, if you want to, just watch it on double speed. Yep, yep, you can watch it at double speed. You know what we should do, James? We should time stamp it. This, this was the pizza, by the way. Mm. It was coming. I ended up making three pizzas. So far, right now, there's one slice left over there. Mmm. I can never get tired of eating this. Hey, Dad, do this. You got a very flexible tongue. Okay. Okay, James. All right, buddy. Time to do it. Speaking of which, well, I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna grab my drink. Oh, you almost gave those to Murphy. <laughs> I am going to limit how many of these things I eat. These donut holes. Nice thing about James is he always leaves me the crust. All right, buddy, anytime. All right. So, here's how we do this, right? So, sort of figured out the simplest way to do this. You're going to be, uh, I thought I got another, I had two cookie sheets. Hmm. Okay. You'll be rubbing the butter on them, okay? So, let's just start with these, and you're going to rub the butter just exactly like you did before, alright? They already left the butter. Well, that's to cook them. Now we're going to rub a little butter on them. Eat them. Well, so that the sugar and stuff will stick to them. Uh, so, we're going to do two different ones. We're going to do one powdered sugar. Wait, but how would it make it stick to them? Is it because, like, okay, yes. Others? Imagine you put your hand into coffee. Yeah. You pull it back out like this. Yeah. Is it going to stick to your hand? Probably not. Bingo. 
Now, what if you got your hand wet and did it? Uh, it still wouldn't because technically it's still water. Okay, so anyways, this will give you this will give you a good chance to uh yeah, butter is more slippery though, so wouldn't that just make it more? No. Okay. Oh, there's a notification on your phone, by the way. Oh. Where is my phone? Right oh, it's what we're using. All right, well, whatever. Okay, so this one's going to be powdered sugar. What? Powdered sugar on a low-calorie donut? Ooh. What are you trying to pull? Yeah, what are you doing, bro? Exactly what are you trying what to pull? What are you doing, bitch? That's taking it a, a step too far, James. Uh, okay. If you're going to express yourself that way... I appreciate it. I like the fire you have, but we don't do that. We we don't say that toward someone. Yeah, that's true. We should probably. Honestly, that hurt probably. my feelings. Oh, um, I'm sorry. That didn't actually, you know, I didn't actually mean any. I, I didn't mean. Okay. I so you're sorry, and. Uh, I I won't do that towards you again. Except okay. for until, and I won't do anything wrong again, unless they're, like, Donald Trump or something, or... Okay, what I was looking for there, James, is please forgive me. Uh, yes, um, please forgive me. Okay, will you come yeah. around here and dump Pax of Splenda into this, please? Can you do that? Can you help me... We can both reach it here. Okay, I'm done with this for the moment. Now, I'll be honest. This all could be a lot less work. I mean, this is a lot of work. It's fun, though. I mean, this is really what we do for fun. That's an exam. Oh, really? Is that fun? My skill set is running this house, cooking, cleaning, make sure everybody has everything they need. Um, so far, we've had a total of 15 kids come through here, you know? Oh, yeah, we had, um, yeah, I think the first kid, um, was kids reached out, out, like, I mean, they were pretty close to being, um, done with this, with our family, but, um, yeah, they... They uh, they stole uh they they stole dad's uh his like or maybe um, him and mom's debit card or credit card or something like that to to buy uh to buy Fortnite V Bucks. Now I guess technically it was on his Fortnite account, so technically I guess maybe but he still bought skins so it wasn't really um didn't really help anything. Didn't really. Yeah, that was one of the dumbest I mean why would you break trust like that? Why oh would God, you do I something mean, like that for for Fortnite bucks? Yeah, Fortnite. I mean, what bucks. what a dumbass! You oh, know. Wait, wait, wait! I just realized. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah, I remember this guy. Uh, those the, those uh those kids that uh stole my SIM card and stole um mom, my mom's car. Actually, that was that one we'll never forget. Yeah, we'll never forget those. They were here <laughs> one day. Yeah. And then they and then we literally woke up and then like the car was gone and then like the um, the house arrest bl bracelet was gone for the um for the uh, guy sister because there was two kids um and then <laughs> yeah and literally my phone just wasn't working because they replaced my SIM card with like a one that didn't work or something and I don't know bro I'll tell you that that was think... actually kind of clever I don't know why they did it. I mean, I mean I don't the know. minute we found out it was gone, it's it's like, basically worthless. Apple's the SIM card, like the SIM card, was literally like mm. the, this. The James, card this is just was literally like unflavored it was and it like, was fucking good. Maybe it, maybe that SIM card was tiny like, bit of butter. So how did they even get a fake SIM card in the first place? How did how did they even get that? I, I don't know. know. It seemed like it was. Was it from a burner phone or something like that? Uh, yeah, probably a burner. Yeah, a, a burner phone. But okay. what's a burner phone? Lifetime, like um, a prepaid one that you buy, you know, like a gas station, and it's got a hundred minutes on it or whatever, and then 
it's untraceable, basically. Which is, um, like I said, last time I went a tad bit overboard on the cinnamon. This isn't enough. We need more packets. You might think it's weird to do this, but yeah, I mean, we got a new. I mean, I got a new SIM card, luckily. Um, and I'm pretty sure the one that they used um, for mine was actually the X. So you know, even even those even those guys, the ones that really do something really stupid and get thrown out. You know, we had some good experiences with them. We we had some times where we can make an impact. I'll tell you one of the saddest moments of my life as a foster parent. We had one young man, good kid, black kid, like 17, and he kind of took to me right away. He kept telling me, you know, what a good man I was and good father and this I think, That's the one that pulls the V-Bucks, though. Yeah, I think, though, you know, when someone says that to someone that they don't know very well, what they're really saying is, I, I want a father like that. I wish I had a father like that. Well, I, I tried to teach him about respect because, you know, the old cliche about respect? It's all about respect. I accidentally opened this... Um, was it running or was it done? I'm not sure. Okay. Hmm. Let's just take a look at something to figure it out. I honestly can't tell. Looks like it was done. It was done to me. Okay. It's not hot, so I believe it was done. I, it's been quite a while, I think, since I learned it. So, anyway. It is all about respect. So you start by teaching respect. Respect for oneself first and foremost. You should always try to teach good communication. Children will pick up on more than anything how you treat them. Right? However you want them to talk is how you need to talk to them. I have, I have worked with so many parents, um, and I work with, you know, I work with CPS families a lot, and so, you know, they don't always have the best parenting skills, and they'll tell me something like, I don't know where that little bitch gets her mouth from. She just doesn't show respect. Gee, no kidding. No kidding. I wonder where that happens. I mean, so, seems to not have that much respect for their own daughter. Well, and, I mean, how can you not expect a child to pick pick up on that? And you know what they do? What? A lot of times they, they ain't allowed to talk to mama that way. Mama, even though she's the proximal cause, you know... You ain't yeah. gonna talk to her that way. Yeah, so they literally were like, I, so yeah, the, um, their child's brain would be like, oh, well, I just wouldn't do that in front of mom. Simple as that. Well, and you know, <laughs> so what they do do instead yeah. is they go talk to their siblings and they go fight with their siblings. Let me ask you a question, James. What? Would you say that you and Charlie fight A, a lot, B, Occasionally C, not very often, D, never. Uh, mostly C, because, like, mostly I, like, bother her when, uh, when, uh, like, her friend Zoe's here. Okay, James, here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to break these into pieces. Come around here. We're going to, we're going to break them up like so into nice little pieces, random pieces. Here, why don't you take that one and tear it up. Not too little. You know, maybe something like that or like that. Uh, so like. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Then just pull this off like this. Mhm. Mm and so those aren't aren't uh, those aren't hot, right? So I'm gonna keep this nearby, but yeah. I think. And then what do I do with this? Just let just set it there, right here, with all of them. 
Hey. Oh. Yeah, we're just taking, all we're doing is tearing it into pieces right now. That's that's all we're really doing. Now, I guess I need to, uh, I have got stuff everywhere. You know, this is my life, James. What? Cleaning the kitchen, followed by destroying the kitchen. <laughs> followed by cleaning the kitchen. Yeah. Followed by destroying the kitchen. I mean, I guess, I guess when you destroy the kitchen, you should clean the kitchen. Well, you know, this is not an exaggeration. We never eat out. Uh, I don't think it's a never, never, but. Well, I mean, we've, we've mom occasionally to likes to take the kids to McDonald's, or I've been known to take. Yeah, or maybe like the, the, the shop, gold, yeah, maybe Golden Corral um, that one time. Uh, no, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stuff like that. That was but. gross. But anyway, essentially, James, we save a lot of money. And also, like the Japanese place. And, oh, that is good. Like that the, place is great for a special occasion. Yeah. We're not going to get into where because we don't want to get rid of, you know, we don't want to uh, we don't wanna announce our exact location. Yeah, I mean. But it's a very nice Japanese restaurant that has a hibachi, like a Benihana's, is just awesome. And they have great sushi. In fact, if you remember, James, remember why we went there? Do you recall? Uh, because of... Or what kid was leaving? Yeah. You got it. You remember. And that kid was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't say. Sunflower. Anyway, that was a good one. She was amazing. Was she was a great was kid. Sun. You know? Right. She had definitely some, like, emotional and developmental shortcomings. Um... But she really was a, you know, I never saw anyone who took more joy out of life than her. She was just, she ignored all of her shortcomings. She was flat out hard to understand sometimes. Yeah, I mean. But yeah, like, she was as happy as they come. She was but, like, always laughing, always yeah, I'm overjoyed sure. about something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a contact with her on Instagram. Just, um. Yeah, and you know, it just, most foster kids are just great kids. Yeah. A lot of them do have handicaps because, and that's kind of why they're in foster care. Sometimes the parents just can't really take care of them. Oh, by the way, I'm pretty sure we only take girls, right? Okay. Now we only take girls just because it's easier. Yeah, I mean, because I know. you'll have. If you have, let's say, a girl in this room, and then you you, you want to bring a boy in, I mean, you then you got to move her. And yeah. it's just. I mean, we did we did make an exception that one time, uh, but other than that, we don't really take girls. For me personally, in our family, girls are easier. Yeah. I have in my foster care group um, that I facilitate each week. I have been doing that group, James. I've been the group leader for. Almost four years now. Oh, damn. Every Thursday night, we get on Zoom, and it's all foster parents, and I get to teach. And it's true that you learn by teaching. Mm -hmm. right. You really learn a lot by teaching. Okay, let's get the show on the road here, James, so you aren't too bored. Okay, big pot on the stove. We're going to boil a big pot of water. Okay, now, James, you want to go ahead and brush them with the butter? Or you want to shake them? You want to you want to do the shaking? Oh, uh, I guess we'll do the shaking. Okay, in these things. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. Okay. What? This is the butter and tray. All right. And so we're going to butter. And this is the shaking tray. So here's what you're going to do. So you're going to take this and then shake it. We're going to put half. We're going to put half of the donuts in each one of these. Okay. Now this. Um, probably a little bit less, uh, butter than when you go to cook them. You just want, just want enough to, you 
And these, I think, you know, they're a little easier to kind of, but you don't want to overdo it, I guess is the main thing. I used to, you know, melt butter and, uh, okay. I got so, a little bathroom. You know what we need, it. James? Okay, uh, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Okay, so this is the buttering station. Then we're going to go to the shaking station. And then we're going to drop them right on here and let the excess fall. Oh, you know what? I forgot something important. Kind of important. Done here. I'll just put this here. Make it easy. Ah. Ha. Okay. In case you didn't catch it before, roll of aluminum foil. The cardboard little box that comes in with the crappy thing that you're going to cut yourself on. Throw. Just throw that away. Look here. It's, it, it, it's, I, why? It's like so many things. We do it because, I don't know, that's how you're shown to do it. That's how you, but, you know, it's nuts. How long are you going to be, you little snug your budge? Okay. So, um... So these didn't get boiled, right? That's why they're like a little bit different. They're like a little, I won't say crunchy, but you know, they're a little chewier. And we call these antlers. All right, buddy. You know what we need, James? We need tongs. We need some tongs. Because you're gonna wanna use tongs. You're gonna wanna use tongs to pull them out. Okay? So, here's what we're gonna do, okay? I'm gonna put half of them in each one, all right? And then we're gonna put the lid on securely. And no, we're then, just gonna shake it by you know, shake, shake, shake. Wow, that one looks like an animal. Exciting. That one literally looks uh -huh. like a goat. That one could be a, a giraffe. That one could be a cat. And then I guess Okay. So uh, why don't you drop the rest of them in here? And I'll get the lid secured. To... Just put the tongs, dude. Oh. Tongs. Get this secured good. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. Meanwhile, we're boiling water, I'm trying to get it boiled. It's a big pot, so it's going to take a little bit. Nice, nice. Do you want to use your other hand? Is it, are you? No, you're right-handed. Okay. Sorry. All right, good. There you go. And you can and you can bring it. A little closer if you want. There you go. Wow, that one that one there looks like a, a camel, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Be sure to squeeze it tight enough. Okay, ooh, you got two that time. Okay, good. All right, take this one. You can just set those down. Just set them down. Just literally set them down. Okay, take that one and just shake it. You don't have to shake it hard, okay? Mm -hmm, but it's it would be cool. To well, shake I mean, you it. can shake it hard, but just kind of, you know, oh. and then uh, you know maybe go upside down a little bit and shake. All right. As soon as you're convinced that they're well shook. Uh, I mean, uh, a bunch of these, this is probably very short, so... Okay, now, James. Alright, just looking at the boiling Okay, water. now, James, we're going to pull these out and drop them from a bit of a distance. Okay? Just like this. Just drop them from about right here. And you know what that's doing? That's going to knock off the excess. Sometimes they'll get a little frisky and want to bounce off the tray. But, okay, that's all you're doing. Just, just like so. 
Now, you're going to start seeing these things and they'll start developing what looks like dry patches, but in reality is the sugar, the powdered sugar. All right, that's it on that one. Okay, now you do this one. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, Let's see, what do I want here? Okay, you know what? I wanted just a couple of plates. Honey, Charlie. How are you? You've seen Cece at least one time today. No. No matter what you do this time of year, you know? Can I have some? Uh, yeah. yeah. Say hello. No, it's fine. They're, they're ready. Mom. Oh. Hey, James. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I love you. Please love me. Please love me. Please love me. No, James. Do you remember? Go ahead and do the same to these. Take them out and drop them from a bit of a height. No, 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 no. no. You got to take them out one at a time. Okay. Otherwise, all, oh, okay. all, all, otherwise, all the sugar in there is going to come out. Uh, so where is this? Okay. On, I'm just, yeah, there you go. Use the tongs. Oh, the tongs? Use the oh. tongs and then drop them from like that. Where are the tongs? You see, oh, there's Well, these are the powdered sugar. No, 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 here, here. These are the powdered sugar tongs that you got in your hand. Or I got in my hand, rather. Boy, those are a nice color, aren't they? Yeah, they're And they like, literally look like animals. Yeah, like little, um, little, uh, little, um, pieces of shit. Bub Chub? Come on, man, it's brown. I don't appreciate... Okay. Just, James, just have a little class, bro. Well, I guess that's Have a little true. class. I mean, I guess that's true. I shouldn't be doing it. Shouldn't be saying it. You know what you do when you open your mouth? Um, you, uh, you can eat and also talk, and you You, you tell the world who you are. Mm, yeah, I should probably try to make meat where I get some who I am probably. All right, good. Now, James, shit. straight on to the, straight on to that plate. Now, would you? Let's move these out the way. That's it. That's it. I'm going to try one here. Make sure they taste good. Oh, my heavens. That is good. That's really good. Oh, well, I guess that's good. And these aren't even the fluffy ones. And they're not even warm. This is like the remnants or whatever you call it. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, put that plate over here. Put your plate right here. We're going to put oh, those oh, domes on top. These domes are awesome. Okay. A little bit strong on the cinnamon. Now, I think Cece's been around me at least once. And Ollie wasn't there at all. Ollie hates lesbians. Confirmed. No. We may or may not see these bad boys turn into a glaze. powdered sugar dissolves than it is, but I mean really you're putting probably a fourth of a teaspoon on each one of those, so you're, you know. Oh, we're boiling. Okay, let's turn the camera, James. Oh yeah. Let's turn the camera. Over the here camera. Right okay, can you see the, can you see the like pan? Not really. Hmm. Well, yeah, I think okay, let's see come a little closer well. where you can really see. Okay. Let's see, then this way, so it's that way. Okay, so can you see the air fryer? Yo, I can't tell if you can see that. Boiling. What if I just, no, I'm kidding. I'm do that. Okay, so there's the, there's the pan here, there's the air fryer there. And then there's all the junk. and Steve. We've got lots of really cool stuff, like these hanging fruit baskets. Uh, uh, what if I just don't put like the, um, like the steam? What if I just touch the toaster and canisters and it's what just if you the steam? overloader? Would it hurt? Would uh, up high probably wouldn't give you a problem. Down low could burn you. I mean, literally, steam can like seriously burn someone. 
seriously scald someone. Okay, this is this is where you got to have some real timing. Let's see here. Normally I have. Let's see. Normally I. Okay. Let me put this away. Okay. What I need is I need this over here. Okay. And I need this bad boy. Ooh, the skimmers, whatever you call it. Okay. So we're going to put. Okay. We're going to put half of them over here. Well, these are soft and really delicate. Okay. That's good. All right, James, you ready? drop all these into boiling water. They're sticking together, that's not good. Okay, and they're going to go one minute. All right, and they'll cool it down a little, and then you kind of can push them down, and that'll sort of flip them around. One minute's all you need. Then you're going to go straight into the air fryer for another four minutes. Right, Jamius? What? Four minutes to three minutes? What? So they do one minute in the boiling water. Okay. And that's going to kind of give it that just little bit of like skin where you kind of have a little bit of a bite and then it's sort of as it goes into the as it goes into the uh, soft center. The reason it's donut holes is because I just discovered that if you make a regular sized donut, there's just no way to make it to where it's not really dense in the middle. You don't get that fluffy donut. But with the donut hole, it's like it's small enough that you can actually get that effect of a real donut. Okay, now we'll just run these out and straight into this and we're going to go Okay, we're going to go four minutes. Alright, now Okay, James, are you are you ready for this procedure? First, first we butter them. Second, we shake them. Third, we go here. Okay. Shake the excess um, off. Fourth, to the plate. So do we um, turn the camera again? Uh, I think for now let's just do this. I just have one more batch of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. Even though, all right. So three twenty. Three minutes and 20 seconds, so we're going to go to 220. Now, depending on how it wants to behave, sometimes they'll get really fat in the water. So, if you ever want to make pretzels, they're done similar to this, except they go in a baking soda bath. That's what gives a pretzel kind of that bitter taste. And it's super finicky. You got to go like exactly one minute. A little bit too much, and it's hard, not enough, and it's. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, your old man's getting sore, buddy. Oh, look. It's rising up. All right. I just. I went ahead and turned off the. I went ahead and just turned off the water because this thing's just about ready to go here. Another three, four seconds. These really did good. Look at them. They're little cream puffs. You know, something that I've always thought about doing, never done, we could inject these with a little bit of, uh, um, like a, like a fat-free pudding, you know? Just a little shot of a, just a little shot of a, like a fat-free vanilla pudding. What's with the timer? That's this. 
So, James. Boom. Bam. Boom. Bum. Butter. Bum. Right? Pat. To the shaking tray. Boom. All right, are we ready? Now these bad boys are gonna be hot. So you're gonna to wanna to definitely use tongs. Okay, so I feel, yes, let's move this thing. Let's move this thing back. And hopefully they have detail enough where they can like see what's going on, you know? You think, Bub Chub? Okay. Now James, in one minute, let's talk about your interests. What do I always say about trying new things? Uh, it's good. Always try new things. Okay. Never miss a chance to try something new. You know why? Why? Because you'll never you never know what might turn into your interests. I mean, yeah. I mean, I kind of want to try. And if you find out that you love badminton, oh, you'll, yeah. start, you'll start. You'll yeah. start. I mean, you'll start. Uh, I mean, you know, surrounding yourself like with sport. badminton players, and you'll be playing badminton and whatever. And I mean, pretty bad, soon, those bad interests bad will turn cool. into goals. Like, and I played that in the Nintendo Switch sports before, you know. It's Let me get this out. What? Let me get this out. Because I only have 14 seconds left. Okay, your interests will then turn into your goals. Yeah. And. Pursuing your, and achieving goals is how you get satisfaction as an adult. It's different. It's different as a child. I wish you would uh, refrain from the foul language while we're making videos. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want children to not be able to watch because, you know. I mean, maybe we could just censor it. Yeah, let's just censor it in the video. We could try to censor it. You want to do like a beep? I, or, I mean, yeah. Or if we're too lazy, maybe we could just um, like cut the audio from that like one small, like very small nah, part of the video. Nah, I don't think we'll do either. Eh, nah. We're we're doing the real, the real, the real family, <laughs> not the fake edited picture perfect family. I mean, I guess that's true. Well, do you know how many Facebook pages I've looked at of clients, and they look like their life is just awesome, and they've got tons of pictures of their kids, and Always talk about what, how much they love being a mom and change. Oh, and then I have them. I have them as a client, and they've done lost all four of their children, and their rights have been terminated, and they don't. Yeah, they're like, homeless. Uh, I don't like the fact that. Can instruments. you please butter those? Yeah, so you're mental. Oh, actually, you know what? I was doing this part. Oh. We'll go with. Uh, why don't we just do the first one, powdered sugar, and the second one, the other one. We got two batches, so boom, boom, boom. What did we do today that was fun? I can't remember. Oh, that's right. We, we did those pavers, James. You know, you were a big help with that. I thought that they came out really good. Don't you think? I thought they came out really good. Okay, you ready? Actually, you know what I was just thinking? We, we should split it half and half. They'll do better if they're not as full. Okay, Bub Chub? Yeah. You ready? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put half of them in here, half of them in the other one, and you'll shake, shake, shake until you're convinced that Okay, you're convinced that it's uh, good. And these are warm, so I've got a lot more hope that these will glaze. Okay, shake it, buddy. And again, you don't have to shake hard, but flip it upside down and shake it a little bit. Try and get, try and get it everywhere. There you go. Hey, that's the way to go. I was worried we wouldn't have enough of this. I think we'll have plenty of this. Once you're convinced, are these are these good? You think? I think so. All right, shake that one. Oh, you know what? I can put the other batch in. I am over here being crazy. Okay. Put these in. Put 
these in. So that's it. I have made more in the past. I've made a bunch of these at times, but when you start getting like five batches, oh god, it's total hell. Okay, James. What? What is your favorite? So you shook these both real good. All right, we'll just have one batch left. Oh, in the way, air yeah. Um, what do you think is better, tennis or table tennis? Um, what do I think is better? Well, I guess it kind of depends on better for who. I mean, I think table tennis is a lot better. Maybe yeah. Better than, in my opinion. Hmm. So what's your opinion on it? What's your opinion? Is, is tennis better than table tennis or not? Let me have just a touch more butter. Is tennis, is tennis better than table tennis? Um, well, kind of. Mm -hmm. You know what I hate about tennis? What? That you can't cheer. You know, I mean, literally, they'll tell you, shh, shh, shh. You can quietly clap after the play is over. What the? What kind of wimp? I mean, look at football, basketball, pretty much any other sport. You're trying to hit a free throw, and the crowd is screaming in your face and, like, waving shit around in front of you. So you just made this face. So. And it's stupid. Tennis would be so much more fun if the crowd was more, you know. You go to a basketball game, and you hit a three-pointer, and the crowd just absolutely erupts. That's one of the best parts about it. You agree? So, one thing about James that's always good to keep in mind is he has uh, pretty bad ADHD and that makes it really hard for him to hear, stop hear it. things. You're shaking the desk. However, you can get his attention quite easily by text message. If I text him, He'll get it instantly. He'll read it and carefully consider it. So it's really just more of a way he learns or way he communicates. And so I've learned to just text him, even if he's on the next couch over. And it really works. And he's, you know, you got to kind of meet people where they are. Oh, James, let him in. Let Murphy in. It's raining pretty hard out. Okay. We have... Uh, Like I was trying to say earlier, they're almost like chocolate chip cookies. You gotta really pull them out of the oven when they're just not quite done. Then they sit on the, you know, then they sit and cool and they sort of compress, get chewier. Mm. You ain't going out, kid. She might be hungry though, James. Will you give her some food? Oh, uh, I guess I'll try. That's our cat, Cece. You probably can't see her from there. But, oh, there's both cats here. Here's Ollie. Oh, come on. There we go. Ollie's a boy. Cece's a girl. Ollie's the black and white cat. Um, Cece's the yellow one. Yes. Yes. She but really is a Garfield cat. Yeah, she, we never were big cat one. people, she were we? Some, she looks about like a, a banana. Like when you like peel a banana and then the inside of it. You know, like, yeah, it just looks like that. Okay. Yeah, it's not like yellow, yellow, but it's just Bit more. I don't want to overcook. So I 
estimated it's two minutes, and so that's another two minutes. I'm going to hold on. Like 20 more seconds. Okay, good. Good enough. I don't want to overcome. Overcome you at the end. All right, you ready? One more, one more round here, James. All right. All right, let me butter those bad boys. Ready for donuts? Almost ready. And then I'll think, okay, I want to go a lot more sparingly, and you just don't know. All right, buddy, powdered sugar. Oh, powdered sugar? Where? All right, so same thing, half and half. These, uh, these have, they kind of look deflated. All right. Shake. Yeah, they really um, didn't coat all that well, so we'll definitely. Uh... Yeah, so, how long, many times are we going to have to shake? That's it, dude. Last batch. It was just two batches. So, there was two batches and then there was the antlers. That really was it. it it's a lot. It's not as much if you just do one kind. Keep moving to get on the right side of you. Okay, now, James, since that's it and we're done, we ain't got to worry about it. Got it? Okay. All right, go for it. Not, not in the same spot, though. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, see, that didn't coat worth a damn. You know what, though? I feel like a lot of it was this kind of stuck to the sides a little. There wasn't actually enough free flowing powdered sugar in there. Hey, there's no mistakes. There's just happy accidents. We got those are uh, those are some of the lighter ones for people that you know want a little bit less less sweet. All right, this looks pretty good. Okay, so. Ooh, James, look. The powdered sugar is almost completely dissolved on all this. So our experiment worked. All right, you ready? Oh, are we finally done? We are done. Now, let's, we got to sign off. Let's go. Uh, okay, um, sign off. Do, 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 do. Well, here's what I was thinking we would sign off with. Come back later, and what do you want our next video to be? Uh, uh, a remastered version of the Root Beer Float video. That might be okay. Oh, you know what I was so thinking? I what I had mentioned remaster. earlier about what I had mentioned earlier about the waffle dessert that is just outstanding and really low calorie, like truly outstanding amount of food. All right, now. The kitchen is a complete and total mess, and we will clean it up later after we consume a bunch of donuts. All right, now James, just gonna wipe the, wipe the island down and. Buddy, I think it's time to let everybody know that there's donuts available. And get a good look at this. See, 
these, these, the powdered sugar pretty much dissolved on these, and so these are lightly glazed. But well, the uh, I guess we should. I guess we could just stop, right? Why do so two, amazing. three? My God, that's good. Stop. All right, see ya. See you later.